Yeah. Now, doesn't it say it's open world? I'm sure it does. Oh. Come along, trinket. Wow, that was a long loading time. Who's this? Just a regular sailor. It looks different. Okay. I've got everything that you don't have anything, right? You have a fine dagger. How's the sync up issue? Are we good? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> Yo, it's actually hot today. I don't know why. Plenty of fish. You're fat. Yeah, that's just fish. Island folk. Take it up. Do you have any weapons? I think you do. Do you I think you just got armors and stuff? Different capes. Bro, I can't lie. That Prince Peep uh, cape looks awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Right. What are we gonna do? Hey, Pryor. Whew. So we still have to go here. That's the main quest. Um, God's uh, goods and services. We need to find Mad Marina and the Undercroft. That's right. But we have to. I'm pretty sure we have to do the side quest for. Where is it? What's his name? There's the corn, it's cool. <coughs> we need to get Dario's permission to go down into the Undercroft. That way we have to... Okay. <coughs> oh, God. Food for thought. Okay, we could explore the Uncharted Islands around Port Marge. We could do that. And we could do some of these bounties, maybe. Could be fun. Alright, let's do that. <coughs> is this really all the way zoomed out? Oh, it is.
by sea. God. <sighs> Wait. How do I check that out? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Stream, I got the fucking sniffles today. I mean, I use, I've, I mean, it's not just today, is it? Can you actually clear all this fog? Oh, we can go in there. I just remember, that used to have like uh, skulls on it. Okay, there's a lot of places we could explore there. We want to go back to Fort Marge. We can take that on as well. Holy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Destiny? How f how'd you figure? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Can we go over this? Oh, we can't. You hear a knock at the door to your quarters. Uh oh. Can there be a mutiny? There can be a mutiny, yeah. Apparently they can. They can. You are not long at sea when Chitapek appears at your door, wiping away sweat with a rag. Begging your pardon, Captain. We've been at sea a while now, but you've not been in a state fit for speaking for most of it. The sailor's glance uh, uh, glances over your shoulder, then back to you. Over a shoulder, then back to you. If this crew is going to be taking your orders, you might want to make a proper introduction. Let everyone know what you're about. Are you saying I've got something to worry about? No, Captain. It's just tradition and a sociable thing to do. Chitapek chuckles. Okay, let's gather and address the crew. Chitapet calls the crew together on deck. The small group of sailors hang languidly uh, from the rigging. From the rigging, perch, uh, perch on crates and sit against the rails. Bro, I cannot read sentences. Or maybe they just word it weird, I don't know. Um, their eyes turn to you as you stride onto the deck. Um... <laughs> It's actually break out the grog, mate. It's a party night. It's actually not pink. It's orange. No, this is pink. Well, that's supposed to be pink. No, this is purple. Dude, I can't. My lights are shit. I can't find a. I can't find a good um, stream. Light stream, really. I think yellow might be the best. This one. White. What, that one? Okay. I don't like the way it looks, though. Like, 
in my, in my room, I don't know. White looks blue. Yeah. Okay, um... These eyes have peeled back the veil of death and I have returned. Herald of Barath, an enforcer of her will. I'm doing this because I think I want to... I can't lie, Barath is an awesome character. And I think I just want to... Help her the whole time. I don't care about the other gods. She's she's just grown on me too much. Eld Ingram glances towards Hamer, who cuts off any comment with a quick shake of the head. <coughs> I could get some kind of scream for the background. I can't though, because I don't have PC. If that's what you mean. Are you talking about green screen? It won't work. Console hasn't advanced that much yet. Glad we cleared that up, now get your ass- no, 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 let's do this one. This ship isn't boards and sails, it's all of you. I'll give you everything I've got as captain, I expect the same from you. Aye, captain. Oswald cheers, uh, sparking chuckles. Chitapet claps and the rest of the crew join in, smiling and nodding. Cool, we gain morale, awesome. Little Lucas steps forward. Pardon me asking, captain, but what exactly is the ship's mission in the dead fire? Didn't I just say this? <coughs> I do like Baraf, yeah. I think I'm just gonna help her the whole way through. Like whatever does she, whatever she decides, I've already decided I'm going to go with her. Um. Let's do, EFS leaves a trail of destruction and despair in his wake, it's up to us to set things right. She crosses her arms. I am not, I am not about to go against my god, but it can't hurt to alleviate any suffering that inadvertently results from this mission. Eld Ingram whispers a prayer, but nods all the same. Chisabek steps forward. To good work done well, and coin fairly earned. Oswald cheers, and the other inmates smile and nod. The crew split up, returns to their duties as a ship. Uh, your ship sails on, slicing through the bright blue waters of the dead fire. Cool. You like Rimigand or that hunter god? What's this? Low rations? Oh shit, we are low on water. Or drink, or anything. Okay. Ship management. <clears throat> hmm. What's this? Rice wine? Okay. What's this? White Yennefer? Love it. Oh. Oh my god, if I do that again. There we go. I need to buy like... I need money, man. What's the quickest way for money? I need to figure it out. Whale is probably your favourite. Oh, here we go. Let's buy this all this rice wine, why not? 74, worth it. Buy all this rice as well. And Tarlo, for sure. Okay, so we're we're at the Ingwifen dig site, so we're close to Port Marge again. <coughs> They're getting morale from the cuttlefish. Uh, cuttlefish, that's good. 
Right, so let's go to the journal. To the north and south of Port Marge. Okay. So this island? Yeah, it looks like we haven't been on this one. But there's nothing here apart from... Fresh fruit. Nice, I'll take that. That's good. And some water. Nice. So is that it? I didn't get like a... What's it? Like a quest update or anything, so... Um, maybe there's an, another little island to the north. Oh, he might be on about this, the Huaro. <clears throat> You're sailing past a reef when Shield Sister Dahlia shouts out, pointing to port. There is a ship stranded in the middle, uh, perched on a narrow shoal, or shoal. I don't know. It tips and rolls with the passing waves. Hanging from its mast is a blue flag showing an image of a crescent moon sinking beneath the waves. Ooh, that sounds like a nice flag. In the first game, you mainly get money by selling fine gear and you don't need armor. Okay. <clears throat> Your crew gathers around, murmuring in low, excited voices. Irina rushes in, uh, to the railing. Captain, that's a gift bearer ship. No telling what sort of treasures it's got. Ooh. Bodell snorts. Gift bearers carry sentimental junk. Worthless stuff. No, that's a smuggler's ship. It's a classic disguise. Hamer spits into the water. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? Then it's fucking stupid one. Gift bearers only visit uh, landlocked settlements. That's a trap. Hmm. Thoughts? Oh, choose a pipe mem. Uh, who's, who's most insightful? Let's ask. Let's ask Alof. Alof rubs his chin. I've heard rumor that some gift bearers operate as smugglers on the side. I suppose it's possible they're carrying something of value. Right, ready? Prepare a skiff. We we'll have to row out and climb the hole. Let's do it. We're about to get smoked. You row the skiff above the reefs. The waves are uh, tossing it. The bottom of the small boat occasionally scraping across the jagged structure below. Uh, you tie off on a snag of coral next to the wreck. The water is rough and the hole slick with brine, but you are able to f uh, find purchase between the shifting planks. Pull yourself up using uh, bent planks and barnacles for holds. You've almost reached the main deck when a wave slams against the ship. You hear a crash from somewhere below as the vessel rocks. Your legs slip out from under you and your fingers dig into wet lumber. Oh! Your grip holds. Once the ship settles, you resume your climb and make it to the safety of the deck. The ship is deserted. You don't even find corpses. If the ship had a skiff, it's missing too. The search! Oh, we got 10 medicine. You find several crates of supplies and several more of assorted odds and ends. Handkerchiefs, bed, uh, no, bead jewelry, cracked scrimshaw, a child's doll. Okay. You think back to Bedor's comment, uh, and wonder if this might have been a smuggler's vessel after all. 412, this has to work. <gasps> no way! I'm pissed. I, I bet there was actually something really good on there. No fucking way. Why? Why?
that's the whole charm of this game, mate. It's all about skill checks. If you fail a skill check, you leave with nothing. Simple as that. That's why you need to fucking make sure you level up your characters good enough. Howling Gorge. The desert uh, wind carries a sibilant saru. Uh, what the fuck? Susurus to your ears. What is that word? Susurus. I don't even know. Uh, from the canyon ahead. Punctuated by cracks and pops, it reminds you of eggs on a hot pan or a fire in a dry bush. Uh, the low growl that accompanies it, however, raises the hair on the back of your neck. Listen carefully. The sound resolves into a rhythmic chittering, slowly and uh, cyclic cyclically rising and falling. It sounds like a chorus of voices, inhuman voices. Let's continue. Ahead of you, a group of Zarek chant, hopping back and forth on skinny legs, shaking their spears. Nested between them rises the black, leathery form of a drake. Oh, God. The creature's wings rise above it as it tears at the corpse of a boar at its feet. Continue watching. Oh, you could have charmed the beast? Wow, but we don't have it. Insane. With a mighty twist of its muscular neck, the drake tears the boar in half. It rises up on its legs, lifting its head and swallows the back half of the boar whole. The lump of the animal visibly travels down the reptile's throat. The others are up cheer, banging their spears against their shields. Use a distraction to sneak closer. You move quietly from stone to stone, entering the canyon without drawing the creature's attention. Okay, that means I think we can get a sneak attack in. Yeah, this is that. This is this, yeah. Okay, um, oh shit. So, no, stop! Oh my god. Right. Hey. Mm -hmm. Let's get you. So, let's zoom out. There's a green circle. Interesting. Alright, let's try it. Uh, so we have all this now, which is pretty cool. Should I try mobilizing it? Yeah, let's try mobilizing it. Have some of this. Damn, nice it's immune man. and we missed. Great. Right now, let's do this. I can't find a weak spot. Not bad. You bet the Drake is someone's pet. Maybe. Yes. Oh, I should have moved her back. Shit. Um, we're just going all out for this Drake, I can't lie. We're going to do Necroic Lance next. Hopefully he gets a big hit. Um, you can stay there. It annoys me that I've named my stag the same name as my character. I didn't realise what I was what doing. Can I do you for? Let's try and... Um, this divine mark yeah, let's do this on her, on it as well oh no either and sneak uh, captain you um why can't we do this no uses left what is it because I'm in stealth? No? Oh well. Come over here. Do... Uh... Well, active critical hits bleed tights for raw damage. Let's do this. Maybe you'll get a crit. Probably not, but... Nah, we grazed it again. What do you need? <clears throat> what do you need? Get out of stealth. Come over here. Um, do discipline strikes. Okay. 
Oh, that was a big hit. 27 plus 47. Can you believe this is on the fastest speed, by the way? Like, if you go to normal speed, like, look how slow it is. Young Drake's nearly dead. This is perfect. Oh, it died. Cool. Can't move. Oh my god, I've been paralyzed. Oh shit. Yeah. They all have paralysis on them. Um, what's this? Oh, I forgot I have this. That's actually insane. Let's go behind you. Hopefully get some flank damage. Didn't. Oh, what's that? Tell me. Um Crackling Bolt. Streaks out in a straight line, bounces off of walls, no. Some of three missiles each pierce through the target and then heap to additional targets, it's pretty good. Can we do this? Mm. I guess we'll just do Jolting Touch. <coughs> Why are you going all the way round? Right, Seraphim. We have a skirm. Okay, two skirmishes. You still got the frenzy, right? Yeah, for two rounds. Let's try doing. Ah, let's just hit him normally. Oh, that was a big hit. That was just a graze as well. Wow. What is this? Oh, it's a priest. Okay. This is futile. Okay. I think. Hey. I think it's poison. Uh, knock him down. Huh. What? You Trigger. missed. Dude. Happy to oblige. Let's try doing this. All thick words and wrath. Watch me work. Oh, could have been better. Let's do combusting wounds on these two. Okay. I'm in real trouble here. Are you gonna get hit? I think you are gonna get hit. Shit. We can do this though. Evasive roll. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, that actually doesn't count as an attack as well. That's crazy. Let's do hobbling shot on you. How do you like that? No penetration again. I need to get a better bow, man. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Ferrathus. That was a big hit. How can I help? Okay, it's my turn again. Where's the other one? There. I've got an. I can't find a weak spot. Boy, <clears throat> consider it right fucked. <laughs> How may I help? Uh, now that she's moved, we can do fan of flames. Yeah, why not? Although they only take. Nah, it's not really good. They don't take much fire damage. Are in for a walloping. <laughs> yeah. Right, Jyoti. Um, are you bloodied? No, you're healthy still. 